Good day, how's it going? Let's take a look at another high grade gunpla kit. This is Shima's Gelgoog from 0083 Stardust Memory. The standard Gelgoog Marine was released in 2000, and Shima's Custom came two years later. It's built off the original Marine with some new additions like the backpack, shield, and long rifle. Shima is my favorite character in Stardust Memory, so I really wanted to make one of her mobile suits. In the series, she piloted this uniquely colored Gelgoog, and also the Gerbera Tetra. So, let's get into the second and last part of my 0083 themed order. Okay, so see the sticker sheet here? <laughs> There's like nothing on it, eh? A mono eye? It's got, we always get that stuff. Like, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, Shima's Gelgoog is pretty nasty out of the box. The Barney ass purple, unfortunate gloss on the tan pieces, and pretty not great color separation makes this a kit that requires a lot of work. The fuel tanks and wings come in tan, and <laughs> just look at the purple machine gun again, man. I mean, it's kind of cool, but bro. I was well aware of this going in, so I bought the kit to paint it with spray cans. I used Tamiya Lavender, German Grey, and Light Gunmetal. I also used Ravel Sandy Yellow and finished things off with Mr. Hobby Matte Top Coat. I love these Ravel cans, and I find them easier to work with than the Tamiya ones. This Sandy Yellow left a coarse finish that I really like. As you may expect with a kit from 2002, there are quite a few seam lines, but nothing we can't fix with a little help from our sanding friends. None of the seam lines are in areas where you're at risk of destroying detail, and at most you may have to rescribe a bit of a panel line here and there. I made a lot of mistakes during the end of my build, including dropping one of the arms directly after top coating it. I also needed to completely repaint the skirt and shoulder pads after ripping through the paint during the detail phase. In the end, I felt really happy with my work. This is my second fully painted kit and I couldn't have chosen a better candidate. The unique colors of Shima's Gelgoog work together in a way that I don't really understand. It's similar to Blitzwing, you know that transformer that just wants to know what's on your mind? It's been pointed out to me that this color scheme is also that of the Lakers and Wario, so there are some fun custom ideas for you guys. This mobile suit has a lot of detail and not even the photos in the instruction manual did everything from the line art, and, and neither did I. <laughs> the appearance of this kit is very nice, I love the bulk and the huge shield it has. That awesome aesthetic of 0083 comes through in this cool ass backpack. Big wings sticking out, some kind of antenna, and a whole cluster of thrusters. I don't know what the practicality of any of this is, but it's cool so I don't care. There are additional thrusters inside the skirt and the legs. The ones inside the skirt come molded together and they look terrible from the front. I should have painted in between them, that's, that's awful. <laughs> I didn't want to show you this, but I had a really hard time putting that piece back in after painting it and uh, yikes. But overall, I find the Gelgoog Marine is a massive improvement over the original Gelgoog from Mobile Suit Gundam. It's just more detailed and less simple and blocky looking, if that makes sense. This Gelgoog has a trigger finger for each gun, I love it, two fists, and a Rick Dom style open hand. The special weapon for Shima is this long rifle, which I don't like. The joints are way too loose out of the box to hold it upright. You can sort of work it from the side, I guess? The rifle itself could use some detail painting. For my taste, I think this gun is too big for the Gelgoog, and it just doesn't work aesthetically for me personally. You get two beam sabers that are molded as one piece with the handle. They're in clear green, but you can mask the blade and blast the handles for a simple paint job. But, uh, I didn't want to force them in the hands and scratch the paint, so I don't know why I painted the beam stapers that I don't plan to use, but I did it anyway. We have the purple no more machine gun, which I just love. It looks great with this mobile suit, and it's the weapon I chose to display the kit with. Lastly, we have the shield, which clips nicely into the side of the arm. 
It's just two basic pieces, but I think it really completes the entire look of the mobile suit. So that's awesome, but what ain't awesome is the articulation. It's very basic. The skirt gets in the way of the legs and really limits the kind of poses you can do with this kit. I mean, the waist will rotate and the head has some limited up and down, but this isn't a kit to pose, you know? It's when you have standing there looking cool, and that's it. The joints are rather primitive, and it's really a product of its time. For size, the Gelgoog is taller than the Gun Cannon and the Rick Dom. And it makes my first fully painted kit look pathetic, so it's beefy. With this model, you get some leftover pieces from the standard Gelgoog Marine. It kind of gives you some option parts, like a different backpack along with alternate shoulder vents, and a headpiece without the hole for the command fin. If you wanted to, you could take the fuel tanks off the fancy backpack and stick them on this one for a simpler look. Overall, Shima's Gelgoog is not a kit I recommend for an out-of-the-box build. The plastic looks really bad in my opinion, and the weird gloss on the tan pieces is just disgusting. But if you put some work into this kit, then it can look really awesome. The sculpt is nice, and the unique pieces for Shima's custom are cool. This is a model that shows its age, and there's no escaping that. Me personally, I'm happy I got this kit and I'm really satisfied with my build. I love to make these older kits pop, you know? It's fun to take something that isn't the best out of the box and put the work in to make it awesome. I hope to do this more and maybe next time I'll actually film some of my process. Maybe. If you're a Shima lover like me and you don't want to shell out two to three hundred dollars for that awesome Gundam Girls Generation figure of her, then this Gelgoog or the comparatively newer Gebra Tetra high grade is really the next best thing I suppose. <laughs> I'm happy with it, I got what I wanted out of the kit, and I would say if you want this kit, make sure you know what you're in for. I say that all the time, but it's true. That's all for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want, and check out my Instagram page, Egg Farm, for assorted nonsense. Link in the description below. Until next time, get on the road to rock, and fire it up.